The South African TB conference is currently underway with scientists revealing new developments in treatment and regimens, including methods to prevent people from contracting the disease. Let's get more on the story. SABC News reporter Jade Pulser is standing by. Very good afternoon to you, Jade. What else is happening at that conference? Well, a very good afternoon to you and to the viewers back at home. And we are coming to you from the exhibitor's side of the TB conference. Now, earlier on, my colleague Minoshni Pillay brought you all the information regarding the debates, the talks, the panel discussions around TB and how far we've come as a continent and also how far we've come as a province of KwaZulu-Natal. As you know, that we have the highest infection rate, uh, TB infection rate in the country. Now, I'm going to be walking through some of the exhibitors and I am joined by Matsi Lerofolo. She is the project manager, a clinical uh, project manager and she's going to be talking to us about what is used to try and um, assess and diagnose a patient. Now I'm standing in a cubicle here and there's a lot going on. We also have ra radiology services and she's going to be talking to us through what they do, how they test for TB for those back at home that are not sure of what is done behind the scenes. Thank you so much for joining us Matsi. We're going to go straight into to it. So what is this machine? Talk us through how the testing is done, especially in remote areas in KwaZulu-Natal and across the country where we see some of the mobile clinics being rolled out. Okay, thank you. This is one of the machines that's the brainchild of LTE. This can be put in that suitcase so each part of the machine can be dismantled in this, into a suitcase and this can be taken to rural areas up the mountains of Lesotho, even across the borders of the South, the South African country. This can do, doesn't need electricity. Everything is charged in here. This unit that you can see here, it's used with solar panels. You don't need electricity for this. So this can go anywhere the services, TB screening services are brought to the patients instead of the patients coming to be screened. We take this unit to screen for TB within the rural communities. And I think that's a very big challenge, especially in the rural communities where patients go get treated and then after a couple of few days they have to go back. Some don't even follow up with the, the treatment. That's very true. But the good thing is that we take the services to the people. We follow it up. We can see if the patient has started treatment that is recorded. So this also helps with the software that's recording for MNE purposes. The x-ray images are reported immediately. We have CAT for, for TB, which is AI reporting on the chest x-rays that are done for screening for TB. As we all know that in the country we have a shortage, actually not even in the country, globally we have a shortage of radiologists. So with artificial intelligence we are able to read the x-rays within 30 seconds of doing a chest x-ray, which will say whether the chest x-ray is abnormal or if it has TB, which is something that we really need in the country to make sure that everyone is diagnosed on time and put on treatment on time. So Malti, before we go over to um, analyzing that behind you and showing what a TB patient looks like, I'm going to be a patient and I'm going to show you back at home how this works. You can explain to our viewers back at home, so I'm just going to step onto this machine. Tell us how it works and also how do you test and do the x-ray for, for TB, if you can just uh, okay. explain to the viewers back at home. So as you can see, she's standing against the TB, un the, the x-ray unit. The chest is going to be put against this unit and she's going to be pushed, she's going to be provided with a lead apron which is going to protect her from getting radiation unnecessarily. And then the x-ray, that's the x-ray tube and the image will be taken. From the back? From the back, thank Okay, you. so let's go over to the diagnosis here. Explain to us how does the diagnosis, how or how do you find that this is a TB patient? And also you said it takes a few seconds. Just talk yes. to us the, how the x-ray, doing it x-ray instead of the sputum actually is more effective, faster with, with results and also treatment for the patient to go quicker onto TB medication. Okay. With digital x-rays and CAT AI, which is computer-aided detection of TB, immediately do a chest x-ray within 30 seconds of doing an image, the report is out. As we can see, it says radiological signs of TB. You don't need a radiologist to report that. Artificial intelligence, which is provided by Cure AI in this, shows exactly, it shows TB is presumptive, it shows all the abnormalities that you can find in the images without a radiologist anywhere in the country. It could be in the rural area, in um, Kanyagute, 
it will show. You don't have to have a radiologist on site to report the, the x-ray. So that means that people can be diagnosed quickly and they can be on treatment immediately as well. It sounds so fascinating and what I love about this is that you can get your results so effective so quickly and you can go on treatment immediately. Now one thing that really impressed me is that you can fold it up into a box and the fact that it's all driven by solar panels so you can get to those far flung areas, those pe the people that really need treatment yes. in, the, in, in communities. Yes, you can do that and you can make sure that even the people once they have started treatment for M&E purposes so that policies can be made, they can be reached. All is done using the HCF uh, software which is for data management and M&E purposes. Matsi, thank you so much thank for schooling us and taking us through that. That was Matsi Lerofolo, the project manager here at LTE. Just talking us through the machinery, diagnostic uh, machinery that they do use, especially in rural areas. This is a mobile clinic radiology services and showing us how they're going to be testing for TB in very far-flung areas. Now, this mobile clinic over here, if normally behind the, the lens can show you on your screens, this is what basically fits into a box and it's absolutely fascinating. This mobile clinic here goes to far-flung areas, to communities that really need treatment. As you heard Matsi saying there, that in mountain, mountainous places where they really need to get to when they can't go via, um, you know, a, 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 a buckies, where the buckies can't ma make it through, they fold this unit into a box and they are able to reach those, those places. But I also want to find out how um, the they are partnering with the health department. If normally you can just work with me, walk with me and just show you back on your screens. This is a, a normal mobile clinic. Also reaching areas that really need help. Um, they've partnered with the health department and I see that there are patients that are being screened here. I'm not going to go too close, but if normally I can just show you on your screen. This is a, a mobile clinic that also tests for TB. It's not one that folds up. It also is able to go to to areas that are in dire need for 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 TB screening. I'm just going to see if I can grab Andres. Andres, yeah. bye, danke. You're on SABC News Live. Um, talk to us about the partnership between the health department. We just spoke to Matsi yes. now. She showed us what uh, the mobile clinic looks like, but the partnership with LTE and the health department. Thank you. Um, yeah, so so LTE, we're a service provider to the Department of Health, of course, and the various sub-recipients or partners that uh, utilize these vehicles. Yeah, so we manufacture. So we manufacture the mobile clinics, the one you see at the back. That's typically our panel van-based mobile clinics. We provide the facility and all, all the x-ray equipment and the software service that comes with the unit. Okay. So this is pretty much like the mobile clinic. Only factor is that you can actually get your, your, your testing also quicker, faster. And I see that the, the ladies are busy with patients. We're not going to show them on, on national TV here. But talk to us about, um, the, is there any difference from that mobile clinic? Yes. So they come in a very variety of sizes and shapes. So the one you see is now panel van based system. So it's a little bit more spacious. It's got a little bit more size. Um, so it offers then the clients or the parts of the Department of Health to, of course, do further testing like bacteriological testing. They can have actually sputum sample collection, lab equipment. Um, but I mean, in terms of the functionality, it's the same type of functionality as the mobile unit you saw at the other stand. Thank you, Andres. Well, that was Andres Foster, the COO of LTE, just talking us through this mobile um, testing facility here, mobile clinic. And there's actually patients that are being tested here. So I'm just going to swing uh, around here so we don't show anyone on screen. As you know, there is still a stigma attached to TB. Um, this conference is trying to break that stigma, trying to bring more education around this, highlight the prevalence of TB as well, and also try and find um, you know, ways in which people can come from all sectors of life, not only the global experts, not only community leaders, but, you know, civil society also playing a major role in trying to combat the prevalence that we find TB in our rural areas. So we are at the exhibitors. I'm going to see if I can't find some more interesting exhibitors speaking to people on the ground that really do make a difference in fighting the scourge of TB, not only in South Africa, not only in KwaZulu-Natal, but across the globe. It's back to you in studio. Jade Porter, thanks so much for that update.